Oh, roast beef, I'll fry it quick. Okay, he lift it one more time. Little girl. Well, I'm trying to get my tomatoes chopped and stuff here. To get this to the pan in this oven. Before I put it in there. So what I'm doing with the vegetables, y'all, I'm trying to, I'm gonna, I want to put them in the oven just to roast them just a little bit before I chop them. Just again to bring out, again, extra flavor. So I'm just going to salt these up. And just put them in the oven and let them roast. Just because, you know, hell. I, like everybody else, I've been watching a cooking show or two. And it's just necessary that if you take the vegetables. Should I put the onions on there too? Yeah. It's just, it just seems real necessary if you kind of just take your vegetables to another level. See, some people, you'll see this right here. They'll roast them off and then they'll put them in a the blender and that'll become the sauce. And, and see, some of y'all kind of hold on to that secret recipe. But I'm going to figure it out. So we're going out. Oh, we're going in the oven. Well, I clean up one more mess. I got to use this again anyway to chop. Oh, no, I'm going to put them in the oven. Um, I'm going to give them a rough chop in the food processor. So that will happen. Upstairs is still brown. Let me give them a toss. Let me turn them. Hold on. She come out here bothering me about wanting to see the oxy. Watch that heat out the table. So, okay. while I thought I would cook them, while I thought they would cook more on the surface, they're just basically browning. As if, it's as if I was browning them in the oven, which is another method. So, that's pretty much what's going on here. That's Let me get my, uh, my girl, I'm going to kind of give them a little stir. And get my garlic moving around down in there. Okay. And it seems like there's a little bit of leaning, because see how I got some juice on this side that's not over there? That's a big old oxygen right there. I ain't doing the middle. Mm-hmm. How long do you think it takes food? Oh, they two hours regardless. And it ain't even we ain't even into that two hours yet. So we gonna put the broccoli in. So I'm gonna get ready to go in with the broccoli and the vegetables so I get these vegetables done. Get you gonna turn down a little bit. Turn down? Yeah, I need them to braid right quick, then I'm gonna turn them down. Some of them is braid. Tell Patty Betty to get out of my way, y'all. That's not, I feel not a lot of heat, though. I don't feel like a lot of heat. You don't want it too much? It's I tried that. Look, go away. You didn't want to come here and do it, did you? Mm. Okay, then. That means you can't stand up on the sideline. Y'all see what I have to put up with? Because she didn't feed me. You you wanted to go to breakfast, you should have got up I earlier. To go to she wants to go to brunch. She wants to go to brunch. She wanna to go to brunch. She wanna to go to brunch. Somebody that wanted to go to brunch should have got up at breakfast time. Then we could have got ready. Knowing I was making oxtails and it was going to be a two, three hour job. All right, so where are we? Uh, where are we, y'all? We're roasting the vegetables off. We're going to put our vegetables in. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. I've got some uh, homemade stock in there that I'm going to put my cabbage in. The cabbage is not going to be but a thing. All I have to do with the cabbage is, all I would have to do with the cabbage is just cut that up and put that, let that go. That garlic smells so good. Oh my God, it's such a good combination. Tell her bowl of cereal, hold on to the oxtail to get done. <laughs> I know, right? Poor Betty Betty. I'm telling you. All right, she already knows. She keep taking off on my cook days. She told me she can't even come in here and get the cereal because I got the YouTube going. See, the YouTube, the fridge is in the YouTube video. But she had all morning, all while I was in there getting dressed. I love rice. Yes, I'm going to do rice and cabbage. All while I was in there getting dressed, she could have been here 
Here, put that in the trash. Find her something to eat. Look, she don't even want to help me put stuff in the trash, y'all. Ooh, I tell you, people get in their feelings. Why don't she just look forward to having oxtails on a Wednesday? Uh, garbage disposal is spinning back at me. Did I get wet? Where's my reset button? I can't find my reset. Something going on. <laughs> that sounds like a monster, don't it? do a side by side of the ninja and the black and dacker. I'm just wondering which one I want to use. This one will food process will sometimes waterlog um, and I'm thinking I'm gonna use this one since I am gonna since I am roasting them off a little bit. And I just want a quick rough cut. I think I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go with this one because it has two blades, so I can just drop that in there, give it a quick rough cut. I'm thinking this one. It goes better. The food processor goes better with the raw. So we're not gonna use the food processor since I'm not going for. I'm not going with from a raw texture. I don't think I want to use that. Now that I think about it. Now that I think about it, I don't want to use that. I want to use this one. And then two plus because it's going to be kind of hot vegetables. So. But I'm just hitting them off a little bit. And basically what I'm doing in the oven over here, for those that oh, can see the oven, I'm just wakening the vegetables up, all right? Oh my God, there's, there's some divineness going on in there. All right, let me get my vegetables out. So all I did was just kind of wake up my vegetables. Went a little bit, get, I got that smell coming out the onion, I got the carrots going. Ooh, honey. Ooh, honey, ooh, honey, ooh, honey. Ooh, honey. Now we'll go ahead and just give those kind of a little bit of a chop over here. So they can fit in the thing. Oh, 
Oh, the tomatoes did really well. Tomatoes was like to bomb, to bomb. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. I don't know what you've been telling. too small on that. I'm going to go small on that one. We're going to go a couple times on here. Figured out how to line this up yet. There we go. Like, what is it? Where is it lining up at? Right there? Okay. I'm using the Ninja. Low battery. I'm using the, uh, oh, sorry guys. Hold on. Let me grab this charger for them for a second. Periscope. What, YouTube messed up again? This on? All right, there we go. Got y'all some charger. Y'all see those oxtails? Oh my God, y'all. Yeah. Y'all see
and carrots going in. You know what I don't have? We're gonna need some more onion. Tomatoes are gonna kind of give me my sauce. Finally figured out where the line is on this thing. Tomatoes. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple more onions on there. Beef stock time. Patty, Patty, can I see your phone? Now I think one might be enough. I'm gonna turn it down and let it simmer. That's the main sauce on it. I need a couple more onions. For sure. Oh my goodness. I might have to put a bowl. What do you think? Fuck, I had a little. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be simmering for a while. Yeah. I took it away and do it a while. Yeah. Mm. I thought that was gonna fuck it. And we're going to rise to the top. Mm. Smells good. I can smell that allspice coming off now. Oh, yeah. And who would have thought we would never come over 18 quarts of milk? And what on earth am I going to need an 18 quart roaster of two things of uh, oxtails, an 18 quart roaster, can use another quart, good gracious, oh yeah, what you gonna say something? what you mean save me something, where you going, how long are you gonna be going, that tomatoes gonna get down in there and make me a nice tomato sauce, carrots, I wish I had some, oh my gosh, 
I did that. Wait till I take this top off. Let me put some more onion in here. Need some more onion. You always take the top off. Look, but look at the the remnants. The look what's rising to the top. Look what's rising to the top. The seasoning, the flavors is rising. The carrots. Now I could have did a little bit of larger carrot, but I went ahead and did them kind of small since I roasted them off because I really want that carrot to just kind of really get down in there, and give me that juice off of it. Um, Got some garlic in there. And again, brown, we brown them before just drown them in beef broth and put just a little bit, little bit more of my seasoning up in there. Not too much. I'm um, put top on them. We're going to cut up some more onion. We're going to do some more onion on that. Hold on. Freezing, frozen, what what oh the um thing is. I'm gonna restart, guys. And really, I mean there's really no reason to restart because I mean, yeah, it ended. Periscope just ended. Okay, I just I just brought it back. Let me get another picture. I'm gonna do at this point. I'm just gonna. I can't believe how long uh, Instagram's going on. I'm gonna add some more onion to that. I got a mess over here. Oh, I hate messes. I hate having a mess. I hate, I hate, I hate having a mess. Where my spoon? Where my cleaning thing at? I'm gonna put a couple more onion in there. Got to go deep. That's one thing about the southern. I wish I had some carrots, but um, y'all ain't say carrots. I mean, if all that went into the pot, why is it all over the counter? If it went into the pot, my God, y'all, y'all, I wish y'all could smell this kitchen. I wish y'all could smell this kitchen. I think, I think Daddy Buzz is gonna want to come for dinner. Oh gosh, what's cooking? It looks so good. We we just put out, we just, uh, this is part two. We were having issues on the first broadcast. That's looking good. Where's my plate? Your plate will be right here. You know how to get to me, get to me, because we don't even have enough people to eat this. Uh, I got an 18-quart roaster for Christmas, and I kept trying to figure out what on earth am I going to cook in an 18-quart roaster? What, 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 what? So I decided to do some oxtails. I'm doing two packages of oxtails. I've already, I braised them in here, uh, oven roasted them in here. I then added to that my uh, some garlic, carrots, onions, tomatoes, and I'm gonna put it, I'm about to fill this up with a little bit more, more onion. So thank you so much guys for coming in. I know we had issues on the last broadcast. If you wanna see a wider shot, we run a live kitchen cam on YouTube. That's also Dryer Buzz. Instagram, you guys are counting down, so let me go ahead and get y'all restarted. We're gonna make a couple more things if y'all wanna hang around for that. Let me share that. Oh, I didn't save it, but I hope I shared it. Oh, uh, let's see. There we go. Okay, we'll get back live on Instagram. Let me also put this on here so they can see that. Post that with the link so they can go to YouTube. I was trying to get connected. Hold on. All right. So for those of you that are just joining in, uh, we've been here for probably the last hour braising oxtails. Uh, my name is Yolanda. I'm celebrating 17 years blogging live from Atlanta. All things Atlanta. All things being a mom. All things being a caregiver. All things loving theater. All things, uh, a lot of things. So 17 years. Uh, I made a pivot, and that was coming back into the kitchen in the caregiver space, coming staying in the kitchen through transition and therapy and all that kind of stuff. And I, being a history buff, uh, one who loves history and culture, I decided to see 
what's the difference in some of the recipes that we have? Why do you make your oxtails different than I make my oxtails? Why did I have a true oxtail recipe? Um, why did I make some other things? And we've gone down a couple of different lanes and series and so forth. We did a bread series, baking series, pasta series, um, different meats, different veggies. We did the vegan, the juicing, and all that kind of stuff. So my family loves the pivot that I've done. So for Christmas, I got a bunch of gadgets for Christmas. This big old thing going on here, you see my good girlfriend Zakia used one of these to make her soap, right? And I'm like, well, I'm not good with the chemistry. I be done blew up something, okay? I ain't all that good with the cooking. I have blown up something. <laughs> so, but what I love doing is trying to figure out what's in the dish and why is it different. Now, so today, when I was thinking about oxtails, on the southern side, the way that I've seen oxtails is people just use a little salt, pepper, and they boil them all day. But then there are those of you who braise them, there are those of you who weaponize them by putting all them hot ass peppers in there and so forth. And, uh, and so I wanted to make, make a dish and I was like, well, I got that 18 quart pan. What on earth can I cook for eight, in 18 quarts? And lo and behold, oxtails. Two packages of, uh, two big, huge, beautiful packages of oxtails went in. I braised them on the first video if you want to go back and look at that. Now, you know me, I'm going to make a, um, a shorter video on this. And I want to use some of this. Um, and we braised them, we seasoned them all, we, we wa washed them, we washed our meat culturally, um, dried it, we put in some oil, put some oil in the bottom of the pan, and just let those kind of hang out brown in them. Um, we seasoned them, and I used a rub that I found that I love and also some thyme, some allspice, salt and pepper, and then I added some fresh garlic. So I let that brown off. Now I have added in, and it's already thickening up, uh, which I probably need to stir and turn it down, um, some carrots, onions, and I don't you want to say celery, but no, carrots, onions, tomatoes. I put some chunk tomatoes in there. And now I'm going to add in some more onions because my family is onion lovers. And I have one onion left. I got a couple of them. Uh, I'm going to cut this onion up and go ahead and drop it in there, too. We can never have enough onion. In fact, when we're making our plates, we fight over the onion, huh? So let me get this onion going here. Okay. So I do my cutting board. And I, I before I put my vegetables in, I kind of broil them right quick in the uh, oven just to wake up the flavors in the vegetables. So before I chop the carrots, tomatoes, and onion, I put them on a cookie sheet and just put them under the broiler um, just to kind of, you know, wake up the aroma and the flavor. I find that in, in the recipes, there are some recipes where I know a lot of, a lot of people go right from raw all the way from raw, but um, I have found through watching and binging on everybody's YouTubes and stuff like that, that it's easy, it's better, more flavor, if you kind of cook everything a little bit before you add it all together, even though it's going to cook together in one pot. So there's a difference that through my cooking coaches have, and my cooking coaches are other scopers, other chefs online that have, um, that have give, given me great tips, great tips. This is the evolution of me in the kitchen. All these gadgets, if you go back and look at my, my kitchen on my first video, you're like, what? So also, if you are interested in supporting, if you love supporting ideas, uh, we're getting ready to take this on the road and try to uh, do some different things with it. Going into community, supporting uh, the Hunger Initiative. We're also looking at, um, working with some organizations, addressing issues of food insecurity. Yes. Food insecurities. Hold on, let me put my hand in. I'm gonna get over here. Unlock it. You slide it, don't press it. Oh, it's it's me. Right, if you want to tell you about being loud and wrong. It's my Right, and I just told you how to do your phone. This is Patty Betty is my middle daughter. What was I going to do? She interrupt me. Keep going. Your is like going. Mine seems like go that way. Phone though, right? I don't think 
to have a landscape video. Thank you, ma'am. Alrighty, so there's nothing magnificent about the preparation of the cabbage, but I am going to do for you guys another quick recipe while that goes. That I've been dying to do because I want some of it because I'm, I'm going to eat it. Let's see. Let me get this stuff out the way here. Now, easy batter. It's the reason why I call it 
call it easy because it's literally a cup of flour, a cup of sugar, a cup of milk. And I think I think it's enough batter for that because I made a smaller one. So I may want to do a cup and a half um, on the batter. So I'm going to do a cup and a half of each because that one, I think I made, I think the cup made the smaller pan. This is hot. Why is it hot? Okay. My oven is still on. So for the larger pan of cobbler, I'm going to do a cup and a half. And we're going to go right into the mixing bowl for that. Now, let's see what it is. This is a half a cup I got here. So we're going to do three of these. Just quickly, like, into your mixing bowl. It ain't even nothing to always think about. One. And I'm doing heat heaping, so two. That's one. That's about a cup and a half. Because I went heaping. Let's do a little more. All right. Cup and a half. One thing about the easy batter is you want an equal amount all the way around. I did a cup and a half flour and an equal amount of sugar. A cup and a half of sugar. Or two heaping up. Or this is a half. This is a half, so pay no attention to how many I did. Unless you can do the math. So two of these will be a cup, but I'm going heaping. So that's one half, one half. Two halves equal a whole, and then we'll go a little bit more on the heaping. All right? Easy batter. Easy, quick batter of karma. Somebody said, somebody called and said, hey, I'm going to stop by. I'm going to stop by. Trying to make sure I got enough milk while I'm, while I'm doing all this heaping. I'm going to stop by. What can you make something? So we got one cup of milk, a heaping, a little, little, little extra. A little extra. All right. I'm going to stop by. I got something to tell you, girl. And y'all want a nice, quick dessert to, uh, y'all want a nice, quick dessert to hang out and do a little gossiping, talking, reading dryer buzz. Girl, have you seen what's on dryer buzz today? That R. Kelly stuff? Honey, go over to her Facebook. Let's go over to her Facebook page and talk about this R. Kelly thing. Have you seen what she said about Wendy Williams and all that kind of stuff? And you know, Oprah and Gail out there, honey. Oh, Lord. Okay, so lock that in. So hit that off in the mixture. Butter, sugar, no, batter. Flour, milk, sugar. Oh, no egg. We ain't doing all that. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna make a real nice smooth consistency. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's pure. It's beautiful. Equal parts, cup of flour, cup of sugar, cup of milk. You want to double it up, two cups of flour, two cups of sugar, two cups of milk. Triple it up, three cups, four, five, all that kind of stuff. Easy, quick, easy dessert. Um, yes, I'm, I'm not using fresh peaches. I normally would use fresh peaches, but I think if I would be learning so much on these oxtails that I wouldn't have time, so I just got a couple of cans of peaches, y'all. Forgive me. You don't need a mixer for this. You can do this with a spoon. And I mean, I just got my mixer for Christmas. Don't act like, don't be looking at my, my scope thinking she got all that. No, I just got this for Christmas. And I'm so, I'm so excited about it. Because now look how fast I can whip up a peach cob. All right, and it's ready. Now, it becomes a full-on cake. If I go add an egg and all that kind of stuff, it becomes a full-on cake. So let me show you what I'm going to do next. Y'all know I already cleaned as I go, right?
And the reason I'm not cooking the cabbage, because cabbage, I like to just quickly steam my cabbage, and they don't take that, they don't take that long. All right, so let me show you what I have here. Where that flour fall in there from? All right, so here's what, here's my batter. See that? That's my batter, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my, my skillet, I'm gonna take my cast iron skillet, and I'm, oh man, I turn my oven off. Bake that, get my oven back hot here. About 375 on my oven. It's telling me the oven's still hot. Hello, what did you hit? Butter. Dang. I just bought butter. I just bought a package of, full pack of butter. One third cup of butter. Um, And I may not need that much, but I'm going to do one third. Because I'm using a larger skillet. So we're going to go about one third on the butter. So I'm going to put my butter in there. Put that in the oven. Let that get hot. When my butter melts, I'm going to have my butter in the pan. I'm going to put my batter in, and then I'm just going to spoon my peaches right on top. And what's going to happen, the peaches, the butter is going to rise to the top. The peaches are going to mix with the batter, and you just let that bake off. Top it with your, some cinnamon sugar. You can take your cinnamon, a little bit of brown sugar, mix that together. You're going to put that on top. You can bake it in there if you want to get, like, or put it on at the end. I think, Depends. You could bake it on there, but then I like to kind of put it on the end and get that fresh cinnamon with the, the hits that heat, and then let it kind of bubble. When it pull, when you pull it out of the oven, it's got this bubbling going on, and you put that, um, put a little bit of uh, your cinnamon sugar on top of there. It's divine, and it's really good. And it's really sweet. Now, what I did not do is normally I will take my peaches and cook them off in some sugar and syrup. So this is actually peaches in its natural juice. So I may put a little, when I put the peaches in, I may put a little bit of sugar on there just to kind of make sure I got a really good extra sweetness. And so those of you that are looking like, what's in the pot, what's in the pot? You came on late, that is some oxtails. And you already know oxtails is gonna cook low and slow for, they gotta go about another hour or two too. Um, what time is it? This, it is, Already 1.30, I got a 4.30 meeting, I gotta be across town, so we got about another hour on that. I'm not gonna be on broadcast, I'm not gonna be on broadcast. Um, the broadcast is really in the prep of the oxtails. I will come back to do an update broadcast when they're done, but I mean, there's not, not much else I can show you guys, not much else we can hang out for. And that way the family doesn't feel like, you know, they're being inconvenienced, you know. So, um, if you want to, like, periodically check the progress, as I come in and check the progress, you can hang out on the YouTube. So, if you go to the YouTube with Dry Bus over there, and usually on the days that I'm in the kitchen, I'm usually in here for a couple of hours anyway. Um, but uh, I usually run a live kitchen cam because on YouTube I can actually mute it. And then that way, you know, everybody that's running around the house, like, trying to be uh, silent and all of that. And it's so funny because my neighbors are like, what's she, what's she cooking today? Um, so, you know, it is what it is. But um, I do want to thank you guys for hanging out with me. What was the number for the soap person? The hashtag for, there's two hashtags. When we were talking, you've been on since the beginning. And... Um, Soap Lady Z. Soap Lady Z is her hashtag, but natural soap by Zakia.com. For those that are wanting to pivot in business, that was hashtag launch chat. Those, for those that are trying to launch something, you're trying to start something, uh, Angela Stalkup is launch chat. It's a chat that happens on Twitter. Um, L A U L A U N C H. C-H-A-T, launch chat. It's a Twitter chat. Um, and also Angela Stalkup on Instagram and Facebook. And she uh, was a speaker at a breakfast. I used to do something called Breakfast with Dryer Bus. 
and she was one of our speakers. And my question at the time was about changing direction. You know, sometimes you have to change direction because if you're really doing something, you should kind of, you should, there should be an end point. There should be an exit strategy. I mean, even in blogging, like, you know, I, I didn't see myself on this side, you know, still doing press conferences, red carpets, still, you know, celebrities and movies and films. Like, I want to evolve, you know. And not only evolve, but um, kind of you, you end up, you come full circle. You come full circle. Like, I started out in community organizing. And I kept trying to figure out how to pivot. You know, yes, I'm, I'm a blogger, but also I'm an author. I, you know, do speaking engagements and, and all that kind of thing. And now... I'm going to go into this lane of helping those through the caregiver space. And it's, it's it, it requires a different authenticity. What I'm doing now requires a very different authenticity than talking to some celebrity, you know, about their drama. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's different. I can't do that trivial stuff. And I don't mean to say it's all trivial because I've always... Uh, dealt with celebrities on a on a different plane anyway based on whether or not you know they most of them have foundations they're doing amazing work things about them that you don't often hear about those are the inter type of interviews that I would always do now hi there I wish I could type it in but unfortunately Periscope doesn't let me type but uh, for the soap and I have some of the soap here I like to get her travel size she has travel size so those of you that will be traveling because if you travel a lot, you know you're trying to take your little bit, a little bit of your soap. She has travel sizes, but then she also now has her new uh, whipped soap. And this is what I made with today to have my daughter like trying to find me, trying to see if I was eating something. She's like, what are you, what? She's like, you're bathing? I'm like, yeah, it's my luscious lemon whipped soap. She thought I was eating Fruity Pebbles because the scent went all through the house. And she was trying to figure out where I was. You know how kids are, they're like, you know, she's not a kid, she's my daughter, but she's grown. But you know how they are when they think you got something good, good. So what I'm doing now is I have some butter I'm melting in the oven here in a hot pan. So I'm going to grab our pan. We are doing a, we're whipping up, and I don't know if you guys can see that. Hold on, let me sit there down and fix that over there for you. I'm sorry, you guys are getting another low battery. I'm going to give you guys some battery. Um... I can't move this, and this is normally what we. This is normally our prep area. I can't move it, so I'm over here behind it. If you guys can see a little bit, I'll push that back. Can y'all kind of see over here a little bit? I'll try and show it to you, but this is hot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that on there. So what you can see is now I have my skillet. See my butter in the pan. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour my batter. The batter that I just made. Three steps to peach cobbler. Easy peachy cobbler. I'm gonna now pour my batter in to get my thing here. And my batter was three things. It was it was a cup of flour, a cup and a half. I did a cup and a half. A cup and a half of flour, a cup and a half of sugar, and a cup and a half of milk. Um, it's really a cup, cup, cup if you're gonna do a smaller, per, kind of semi-personal version. So now I'm gonna put my batter in. That's all to it. I call it butter batter fruit. And my batter is nice and thick. Ooh, yeah. And what's going to happen is some, now I noticed in the cast iron, it doesn't necessarily float to the top like it does in the other pans. It kind of it mixes with the fruit. When I did it in a low pan, when I was doing it in the loaf pan, it would, the batter would rise to the top when it was baking. But I guess with the cast iron, it's a little bit different. Now, all I have to, y'all can see that. I can see it on there. So now I've got my batter into my butter. And now I'm just going to um, put my peaches in there. Just drop them in. That's all you got to do. You can put a little bit of the syrup. Let the syrup go with it. That's fine. Because that's going to help it get nice and bubbly. And normally I would have cut my peaches if I had time. I would have cut the peaches myself. I would have used fresh peaches. But I would have cooked the peaches off on top of the stove prior to. So 
And I'm using all my peaches. Just drop them in the batter. You don't don't stir it up. Just drop. Just drop. Don't stir. Don't stir. Don't stir. It's gonna do its own little magic. All right, now this is just basically the peach juice. I'm just going to put just a little bit on there because I got enough room in the pan. Only because I had enough room in the pan. All right, now because these were peaches in their natural state, semi-natural, since it wasn't in a thick syrup, I'm going to put some sugar. I'm just going to go with a little bit more sugar on top of that, even though I'm going to hit that off. Oh, I just got milk and sugar. He's just going to put a little sugar on there. My grandma used to go in on the sugar. Of course, she ended up being a diabetic, and we ain't trying to go that route. All right, now, I was saying, also, you can either do it now or do it um, when it's done, is go in with a little bit of, you're trying to create a richness. You want to create that richness in the beginning, you can hit it off with a little bit of brown sugar and top that with some cinnamon. Cinnamon. So now we're going to go, I did a little bit of just regular sugar just to get that sweetness on there. So now we're going to just drop a little bit of brown sugar on it just because I'm trying to impress y'all. I'm trying to, my, I hope my dress didn't come up back there. All right, so I know, right? Isn't that something to say? But I noticed, I noticed y'all got a different angle over there. So what I'm doing now is just hitting it off with a little bit of brown sugar. And then I'm going to hit, hit it off with a little bit of, and notice I'm not touching it. I'm just dropping. I ain't, I'm just not spreading it around or nothing. All right, where is my cinnamon? Got a little bit of ground cinnamon go on there with that. All right. Now what's going to happen? Remember I said the butter and all of that, the batter and everything is going to shift around as it heats up and as it cooks. And then we got a dessert in the meantime. We got a quick dessert in the meantime. Thanks so much. Um, that girl, Ashley, for coming in and inviting your followers. I love that. So let me bring this over to you guys. Let me get that up under there. All right, so I took my cast iron skillet. There we go. Can y'all see that? Let me get in both shots. Okay, so there we go. So I put the butter in the pan. I put that in the oven let that, that in the pan get hot. Then I took my batter, which was just um, milk, flour, and sugar, whipped that up in my mixer, Pour that in. Then I just layered the peaches on top, and I put a little bit of extra sugar. Then I put some brown sugar and some cinnamon. And I'm going to put that in the oven and let that hang out and do what it do. Actually, I'm going to put it on a pan because I feel like it's going to boil over. Let me see. Is this, is this big enough? And again, guys, there's a wider shot. If you want the wider shot, it's on YouTube. Let's see. Is that big enough to go on there? There we go. That'll work. Hopefully that won't make so much of a mess. And it'll be easier to him. And this is going in a 375 middle rack oven. Okay? Whew! And now comes the cleanup, cleanup. Now comes the cleanup, cleanup. I'm gonna take one more look. What's going on in here? If you haven't, if you haven't been with us for the duration, we came on about what 10, 11 o'clock. Came on about 11 o'clock. Um, we braised some oxtails. We got about two packs of oxtails. This is the 18 quart oven roaster. It steams, it roasts, it bakes, it's all something else over there. I got it for Christmas, just opened it today. This is the first meal. And I was like, what on earth am I going to cook that I would cook 18 quarts? And voila! Oxtails. Big old pan of oxtails. Apparently, this is supposed to hold that. Oh, okay. Ha! So, it's basically just, um, 
boiling, baking oven. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is gonna be so good. I'm like, I'm like, do I want rice or do I want pasta? I know that would be look, I, I learned how to make pasta, I want pasta with everything. You you you, you claiming that one right now? I think you should just stay home and eat. I don't know what was all this save this for you. I gotta get my hair eat. You come back tonight? So, you know, I can't I ain't gonna make no promises. I think you just stay home. You know I'm cooking this big well, on Who's gonna eat all this food? I make one for all new cooking so. You know I cook every Wednesday. I said before I knew what you was cooking. Y'all see how they do me? Mm, 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 mm. What time are you leaving? Probably about two hours. What time is it? It should be done by two hours. You take some with you. What time are you leaving? I'm gonna turn it all the way up, y'all, and let it do its thing. Why are you gonna turn it up? Cause I want I want the sauce to thicken, and as long as the top is on there, it's, it's staying li too much liquidy. Mm, 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 mm. I think this is gonna be the, what I'm really I'm really pleased with. If you look at the liquid, the the goodness that's in the liquid is insane it's like i can see like the little the little bit of fat that's in there the juice what the juice I'm, I'm just amazed at what the juice is doing so on that note guys i mean i don't know i guess um i i don't know i don't want to stay live too long because you know i know other people want to live stream so and I don't like, to, I just don't like to be on so long. I was wondering what that, apparently the handle is made to hold the lid. What do y'all think? I mean, we're not going to stay here and watch the oxtails. I'm going to leave the YouTube running. I'm going to leave the YouTube running. I'm going to go rest my legs because standing here, even though I have, if people want to know what I'm standing, I think on one of those shots, you can see I have the cushion uh, on under my feet here. Um when I stand in the kitchen this long. But this is going to, this is only, the cobbler is only going to take a few minutes. So, but I don't want to, I don't want to stay on any longer. I think that's it. I'll come back and do a periodic update because this has got to go about another hour, if not two. Because um, there's so many layers to getting this to the point where it actually starts cooking. What's up, chick? You are my true rules. Where you been? You are still on my bucket list. Glad to see you. Where you been? Um, cause even like right now, I think it's really just kind of starting to cook. So I would say two hours from now, when you think about, it, cause I want to open this up and the meat is falling off the bone, and you don't stop cooking it until the meat falls off the bone. So we're gonna let that go. Um. I'm gonna leave this off and end the video. Baby, no, I can end my videos. Let me see. Working on my webinars at Black Pro Gen. Okay. John Wilkins, what's going on over there? I know you guys are getting ready. I think this, it's legend time. It's legend time. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get ready to end, guys, because this has to go a, a while. The peach cobbler is in the oven. And when that comes out, what I'll do is I'll do a quick live just to show the finish on that. And I'm going to finish cleaning up the kitchen. The only other thing with this is uh, some cabbage. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to steam off some cabbage. That ain't nothing, nothing to see there. And some rice, some cabbage and some rice. And I may even want to put the rice in there. I mean, I'm like, shoot, this big old pot? I'm like, hey. It's crazy that I was wondering, like, what on earth would I cook in 18 quarts? And y'all got me making 18 quarts of oxtails. That's crazy. That's crazy. That will work. Yeah, we'll come back and do an update. I like that with the top off, it's giving a little bit more of a, uh, it's cooking a little bit more. Because it seems like with the top on, we're not getting any kind of evaporation or, um, 
what I'm looking for. I wanted, I want to see the dance. I like to see my food dancing around. So, but I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to let it go and finish, guys. All right, everybody, I think we're all in agreement. Y'all don't want to just see me standing here. Y'all want to just watch me? We just stand here. We just going to stand here and listen to the oxtail. Talk to us. Talk oxtail. There's some serious cooking going on right here and around the edges. That's insane. That's insane. That's good. That's some goodness, y'all. Wait. Oh, let me catch that. Yes, we are in agreement. Okay, good. We are in agreement that we will come back for a couple of updates. If you want to keep watching, again, go to the YouTube channel, Live Cooking Oxtails. Uh, look for Dryer Buzz on YouTube. I'm going to mute it so you won't be able to hear, but you'll still be able to watch the kitchen as I finish cleaning and I will come in periodically and check. We always keep the kitchen cam on all day on Wednesday. All right, so let me end the broadcast. Nope, that ain't it, is it? That's the ceiling. I'm going to save that one and put some of that on uh, IGTV. If y'all ain't rocking your IGTV, please go and rock your IGTV. I love y'all, Periscope. Thank you so much. All right, I'll catch you guys in a minute. Not a minute, but an hour or so. Bye. <laughs> oh, look at you. You're going to try to bark after the fact. You a mess, man. But I thank you for behaving. I didn't get to say that other one. All right, there we go. All right, you two, I'm going to come around and just mute you guys, those that are over there watching, and uh, you, I'll, I'll finish cleaning the kitchen, and you guys will get a chance to um, see it as it comes out of the oven, as everything comes out of the oven. That syrup is kind of uh, thick. I could have used it. Go ahead and um, stop that. Hit that for me.